Hui To Xiang is easily one of the best dumpling spots in SGB. Their handmade dumplings are crispy, juicy, and packed with flavor. It's a no-frills hole-in-the-wall spot with incredible food. But what you probably don't know is, they've got another location, and it's in a spot that might surprise you. This dumpling spot is out of place, but in a good way. If the kitchen doesn't look like that, it's not gonna be good, right? Yeah. That's how you know the food's gonna be good. 17 minutes. Yeah, and they had another order before us. So we brought everything home because the restaurant is kind of like a to-go only place. You can eat there, but they're still gonna pack it to go for you. So we brought this home because we just wanna eat it at home anyways. And look at this beef noodle soup. They packed it all the way up to the brim. And this is the soup. So let's... I like that this noodle is thicker. Look at these chunks of beef. Three whole huge chunks of beef. Spicy beef noodle soup. It looks like they give us this huge thing of chili oil. I know, you could buy it for 10 bucks or you could just get it to go and get like half a bottle. This is one of the premier dumpling places in all of SGV and it had high praise from a very renowned food critic, Jonathan Gold, rest in peace. We have all different kinds of things here. They have a beef noodle soup, which we've never tried before from there. And we do really like getting the green onion pancakes. And this is the main one, the Hui To. Jonathan Gold described it as a Chinese version of a blintz. Three flavored boiled dumpling. So obviously it's different from one that's more fried. You can see that it's boiled vegetarian leek dumpling. Just take the whole bowl. Yeah, so check out this noodle bowl. I love that thick noodle. Nice thick noodles. Look at this beef right here. And it's a little bit red because it's spicy. You can kind of see like the oil that sits on top of it. The noodles have a really nice chewy bite to it. And it does soak up some of the spicy flavor and the beef flavor within it. We gotta find out if the beef is good. It's so good. Because it's so tender, it's like soaking up all of the soup. How could this not be good? It's so good. Oh, so beefy. There's a lot of great locations in SGV for beef noodle soup. And I think this place might be top five. The Mandarin Noodle House, if you guys know, you know, there used to be a Mandarin Noodle House in Chinatown. I used to go to that Mandarin Noodle House in Chinatown every weekend with my parents and they made it just like this. I miss that location. <laughs> Definitely do not miss out on this noodle. It's so good. I'm gonna do boiled dumplings. Boiled dumplings, when they're cold, it doesn't taste very good. So I'm gonna do a little bit of chili. Mmm, tons of meat. Honestly, it doesn't even need chili. There's so much flavor already inside. It has meat, it has chives, and I think it has a little bit of some chicken or... I don't it says three flavors on the menu. <laughs> on the outside, you can just look at it and you can tell it's handmade. And I really appreciate handmade dumplings. Handmade dumplings just taste way better than store-bought frozen dumplings. They also sell frozen dumplings here at this location too. You can order them and make them at home. That one's very good. We've had the fish boiled dumpling before too, and that one's really good, but this one is way more flavorful. This is the traditional, what they're known for. This is like a log style dumpling, but this one is pan fried, it's delicious. Mm. And I got a pork one. They have a beef one, pork and onions. It's so juicy, not very fatty, but tons of flavor. And the texture of the dumpling, it's very thin compared to the boiled dumpling. Still crispy, even though we took it home. My favorite style dumpling is definitely the pan fried dumpling, but try not to do it too much because, you know, hey. This is Yi Hei food right here, Yi Hei. So good. This pork Hui To dumpling, $12.99 three flavor dumpling, it's also $12.99. The vegetarian leek pancake, also $12.99. Green onion pancake, $6.50. Spicy beef noodle soup is also $12.99. Vegetarian leek dumpling. Inside there is clear noodles, eggs, and chives. And it's in a little pocket. The chive really stands out. So chivey, so fragrant. This is so good. Yeah, top three for sure. Yeah. Because this, this Hui To is something that you can't really get hardly anywhere else. You don't see it very often. And the last thing, 
I feel like we've shown us getting for scallion pancakes quite a few times. Bistro Nas was probably our favorite. Yeah. It's a little bit more chewy, even though it's like very flat and very thin. There's not enough green onion in it, mm. but the flavor is still really good. This pan fried bun is really cute, very small, has a little crust on the outside, but very bun-like and very bunny, bready. So if you like bready pan fried buns, this would be for you. The meat itself, I think is very sweet. It's pork and it comes in six per order. You know, I was thinking it would be cool to check out the other location. Too bad it's in Hollywood. Yeah, we would never go to Hollywood. Doesn't feel like we're in SGV anymore. But wow, what a different place. I love the vibe. So also what a big difference the menu is. It's bigger and they have skewers here, more drinks that they don't have at the other location. Yeah, and surprisingly, the prices look about the same, huh? You know how you know you're not in SGV anymore? You had to pay $20 for parking. I don't think I've ever seen a chili oil cocktail. This is the first time. I think we had to get a chili oil gang represent. <laughs> so you gotta try it. There's not that much though. It's, it's really interesting. It, it's actually really good. It just kind of tastes sort of like a tonic drink, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, not very alcoholic, not very strong, not very spicy, but it has kind of like a nice smooth touch to it. It's very satisfying on a 107 degree weather day. I got this passion fruit lemonade. Oh, so sweet. This is a fun drink. It's passion fruity and lemony. This is their second location in Hollywood. It's kind of close to the Hollywood Bowl area. It's about 40 minutes from SUV, but this vibe is really cool. It's a full bar. It's more of a sit-down restaurant, whereas the other location, they do mainly to go. Pork Hawk is $5.50. They have this at the other location too, but we didn't get it, so we're gonna try here. Yes, and it is a cold dish. A little bit of soy sauce. Mm, the soy sauce is really good. It's like salty and sesame -y. It's like a Asian security board. A nice appetizer with the drinks. Yummy, cute, refreshing cucumbers. Or cucumber fiends. A little salty, but super refreshing. And also another thing that goes well with a uh, pork hock, huh? Yes, Asian charcuterie board. Mm. I think this is like a vegetarian noodles. This is the shrimp shumai. Looks just like wontons. <laughs> Very interesting. See how it is though. There's a whole shrimp in there. My brain definitely would not say that this is a shrimp shumai, as you see here. It looks tough. So it's a much different skin. So if you do like it a little bit more, I don't want to say rubbery because that doesn't sound appealing, but it is definitely a little bit more chewier and stretchier. But the shrimp inside, very good. Oh, we also have our skewers, our lamb skewers today. These three items, they don't have at the San Gabriel location. So we had to try it. Cumini, lamby. I can smell the lamb. You can see this side a little bit more fatty. It's very soft. It does have a little bit of lamby flavor, a little bit of gaminess, and the cumin is really nice on it. Very slightly spicy. Oh, these are very thin noodles. Look at this broth right here. Try the soup first. Very clean tasting, savory, but without going overboard on the salty side. One thing that it does do is it soaks up a lot of the cilantro flavor. So once again, if, like, if you hate cilantro, like definitely do not try this. It's very powerful. Let's see how it is. They're very soft noodles, They're like a very clean tasting, less guilty soup for sure. I wouldn't call this a shumai, I call this a wonton. I'm gonna dip it in the soup because it needs to be hydrated. Just dump it in. On a rainy day, this will be really comforting. Really juicy on the inside, but really crispy on the outside. They do it really well. They also have a shrimp skewer. Now I'm regretting not getting it. I'm glad there's more authentic Chinese food in Hollywood now. Because for a long time, like, people didn't really know what authentic Chinese food was. But also, I think it's good that it's in a very touristy area. And if you don't have a chance to come to SGV, you can still come try some really good authentic Chinese food. Tucking them in, telling them to go to sleep. What the? Go to sleep. Okay, so total was $68.99. For more dumpling adventures around SGV and beyond, you can check out this playlist right here.